Well, good day, good day, good day, my YouTube family and friends. Good to see you. Good to see you out there. And uh, if you're new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that thumbs up. Well, I'm back out again today, going to the fruit stand, traveling with my buddy, my Lipton, Georgia Peach Tea. Come on, Lipton. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Scott has worked several hours. <coughs> so what we did, he was gonna open up this morning he was going to call me. Uh, he was he was supposed to call and check and he's supposed to call and check and make sure uh, the products we needed was available. Apparently they were not because he never called and woke me up. He never. I mean, you know, uh, I have hard times in the morning. And he knows it, and I appreciate that. Uh, but I would have, I would have eased on up there this morning and I uh, just made my way through the day. Somebody still hadn't picked up this mess they made down my driveway. I mean, I'm telling you, people just come out here and cut limbs and lay them all over the place. And, mm. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just getting my day started and it's probably, it's just not busy this time of the year, so it's not like he's flooded with customers or anything like that. And, but, and it's raining. It's raining. Yeah. Just like they said it would. It's been raining. Oh, uh, and there's more coming, it looks like. Look at them skies. You know, I ain't gonna make you watch the ride all the way up to the fruit stand again you did that yesterday but here i'll show you what the what the uh, weather looks like out there now remember i can't run my wipers when i'm driving so but that's basically what's going on out there it's uh rather wet rather wet once again rain a couple more times throughout the next seven days. We're going to need some windy, very warm days in order to quickly dry the ground up enough to do anything with it. The high tunnel might still be okay. I mean, uh, right now. If it rains enough and hard enough and long enough, uh, you know, water does make its way into the greenhouse, too. Um, moisture. No, it's not like it floods in there or nothing like that, but it makes it uh, too damp to do anything with, the, with it. showed you the plants yesterday they were the plants that uh, some of them are actually going to go in the high tunnel down the down the side walls of it as soon as he you know he's got it all broke loose just got to break it out of there all right i'll see you at the fruit stand okay keep on smiling yep oh okay well i'm at the fruit stand Yep. There wasn't no tomatoes coming up today. That's why Scott didn't call me, because there wasn't no need going. I, I had a customer, pretty good sale going on there. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Uh, 
And, uh, you know, y'all got a bird's eye view. Huh? Anybody want some green tomatoes? We got green tomatoes. And, and we got the stuff to fry it up, fry them up in. You know, I don't, I don't, uh, I know the uh, prices of things around here, of course, and, but I forget them, but, so we have to write them all down. <laughs> of course, I guess I'm not the only one that forgets them. But I'm not here on a daily basis. I mean, I'm here, I come in, I do this and do that, and then I'm gone. I don't, uh, I talk to customers, but I don't wait on them that often. So, uh, it's, I have to look for the price. <sighs> yeah. I wonder if anybody won that lottery. I keep seeing that sign up down the road down here. I think they, I think the, I think the drawing was last night. Five hundred and sixty some million dollars. What would somebody do with that much money? <coughs> I can think of a lot of good it could do. Uh, anyway, uh, look, I'll uh, kick back in here if anything goes on. But, uh, right now, it's just me sitting here and it's pouring down rain outside. So, no, I had one customer come in. I said, y'all didn't get wet, did you? <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Well, wasn't that turnips that you said, Peggy? You asked me about turnips, wasn't it? On the live? I looked right past them. We do got a whole box of them out there. Whole box of turnips. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody's pulled some turnips and I just... I think it was turnips, you said. If it was, we got them. <laughs> I did. And, uh, yeah, well, I'll put a picture in there. You'll see. It's got, the, I think they're $1.49 a pound. Yeah. So let's see. Let me. Yeah, and they ain't that big neither. Yeah, a dollar forty-nine a pound. I saw. I see here. So, that's a pretty good size turnip. That'd be seventy-seven cents here. But when it's people. When we pull them up or people bring them by here, uh, we give it the best price we can give it. Uh, I mean, we give stuff away sometimes. <laughs> hey, look, they don't need letting it go bad. And if people's not buying it, it's not selling, we can't eat it all, somebody has a good fortune. Of course, all the bad stuff goes to the hogs. And um, let's see, there's a, got the nine little ones that'll be ready for slaughter uh, midsummer, and then uh, three. The you know the three. Uh, yeah, the boar and. Uh, the two mamas. One should be having little ones again. The other one should be. Could rotate them. Should
should be having babies pretty soon, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I saw them turnips, and I was like, she said turnips, didn't she? Can't remember. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. And I said, no, we don't have any right now, but yeah, there's a box of them out there. <laughs> okay, uh, let me get off here. I just ended my life, and uh, if you wasn't at the live, there's something that they know that y'all don't know, and I'm not going to tell you. Yep, you'll find out when it happens. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Well, I don't know if we talked about this or not, but Scott found some cherries. Huh? I, I was telling people we found some. You found some cherries. Well, let me get a bit meaty, Jesse. Yeah. Them strawberries. I hope them strawberries are sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna check one here in a Boy, did I get that wrong. All alive earlier today. The wind was gone, but the wind is, whoo, the wind is a blowing. And uh, it's temperature is dropping fast around here. Uh, we're supposed to be down to freezing tonight, so. Yeah. It's, uh, not gonna be a, not gonna be a nice warm night. Ooh, nice warm night. That wind is. Mm. Uh, still at the fruit stand. Uh, Scott brought me a bunch of goodies. He got hold of some cherries. I think I already made a video of that. I already, I already made a clip for that. And uh. Down to two dozen eggs in here. I gotta give her some eggs up here. Uh, yeah. And uh, I've done had my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner here. Yeah, I've been eating raw peanuts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go look at what I told them on live. We're gonna go look at them. Uh, after we close the store up, Scott's, I told Scott's going to come back up here at closing and pick me up and just going to leave my truck here and run down there and look. Yeah, so anyway, that's the next step. Yeah, y'all do a good job. Guard your babies. Yeah. We brought a cage. <laughs> Over that white guinea. How many white guineas you got? They'll stay warm. Just sit in here so if it's hot, it's still be just be up and up with you. Uh, mm, what I talked about on the live, we did get. They look rough. They got to get rid of some old stuff and get some new. But uh, they will probably be the ones we keep. Something has to go now. Uh, can't be two of a certain thing on the farm. They'll... Uh, hurt each other so we'll we'll see 
uh, and the, what you just saw was all them, all them uh, feathered friends running around there. That man has 60 guineas and like four different colors of guineas. But he won't get rid of no guineas. Nope. He's got about 60 of them, he said. He said he lost count at 60. He Probably a few more than that. But anyway, uh, I said, uh, he said, he, he ain't going to get rid of no guineas. <laughs> oh, me. Yeah, I came home. Oh, I got to the house here and had had several plans. But uh, uh, I sat down and I was out like a lot. What a day. Yeah. You know, I don't, that, my days don't usually involve as much as that much anymore. I, uh, I do a little here, a little there, and come in the house. And, I mean, you just see a little clip of what I do every day. You don't, you don't see the part where I sit here in this chair or sit and go to sleep and rest and uh, stuff like that. But yeah, so I had, I don't have a video out yet. Well, I do now. That you read here, you're seeing this. But, uh, yeah, I didn't get it done. But I'm going to do it now. I'm going to put it together and uh, see if it makes any sense. It's, it's probably all over the place. But we did get what you saw on the live today. I told, told the ones that was on the live today at the fruit stand. We did get to two. Like I said, they, they look... They look rough. They're healthy, but they look rough. You know how the feathers, feathers are. And uh, but now they'll, they'll need to bolt, get some new feathers, so they'll look better, and pretty. But uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh, I can't think of nothing else. Uh, I woke up. Took me a few minutes here to get pull myself together and uh, understand that I fell asleep. But, uh, but I'm awake now. I think I can build this video, so let me give it a shot. Uh, so I'll call it quits right here, just late at night. Or I don't even know what time it is. It's dark. Uh. But, uh, God bless. Remember to keep on smiling. And, uh, change somebody's life. If you can't change their life, change a moment in it. You know, make them laugh. Make them smile. Uh, and don't forget, Jesus loves you. And so do I. So, we'll talk to you later. Boom. I'm out of here.